Hello, I'm a London nerd. Now today I'm going to do a review on Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 5. Season 5 um, basically introduces a new character called Dawn, who is Buffy's sister, um, but is created by monks and put into Buffy's life, and Buffy knows she isn't her sister after a while, but everyone else thinks she is. Um, but obviously they learn the truth in the end. Um, but season five obviously has Spike becoming more of a, becoming a bigger role. But Dawn is created by these monks uh, because she is an ultimate energy source, uh, power source, if you know what I mean. But season five is one of the most saddest seasons of them all. Because Buffy's mother dies towards the end of the season. And also Buffy dies uh, by sacrificing herself and saving Dawn and her friends. And it's just a really sad season. Also, one thing which is good about this is Spike is once again brought into the role a bit more. Um... And one of the best scenes in it is when Buffy's mum is ill and Buffy's outside and finds Spike spying on her because Spike is slowly falling in love with Buffy. And Buffy goes to Spike, five words or less, tell me why you're here. And Spike goes out for a warp, bitch. And I just pissed myself when I saw that. But really sad season. Um, this is, again, another discontinued uh, box set. This is the book versions again, but I've already shown you what the book version looks like, so I'm not going to take it out. I uh, bought this for £8 secondhand at CX, but you can get new version, obviously, the current um, Buffy box sets, for about 10 15 quid from HMV. Uh, also, this has Riley in it, again, as Buffy's boyfriend, but Riley leaves Buffy in this um, uh, which I actually am pleased about because I don't like Riley as a character and also you got Rillo's girlfriend uh, Tara in this which is good I like Rillo as a character and Tara really um, a falls below his character because I forgot to mention this in the season three and four review is that there was the character introduced in season three called Oz, who's a werewolf. Um, actually, he's introduced into season in season at the end of season two, but Oz is a werewolf and becomes Willow's boyfriend but leaves Willow in the initiative storyline. But, I mean, Willow obviously is, becomes a lesbian. But Willow's character develops a lot in this, se in this series. Um, but a good watch for any Buffy fan. And if you're a Willow fan, you've got to watch this series because it really develops a character. Anyway, thanks for watching, and please check out my other Buffy reviews. Cheers.